Thank you, Dave. Uh, to start, as I want to thank all the neighborhood groups for putting this together. Uh, my name is Corey Belander, but I'm the Zoning Board of Appeals in law for the last eight years, and the neighborhood groups have been a key component to our decisions on the board. We know what you do, and we appreciate what you do. And as a counselor, I will continue to use your input very much. Thank you very much. But my stance on neighborhood protection is this, okay? As we all know, there's not a lot of money to be had out there, okay? But there are inexpensive ways to combat crime out there, okay? And that's through a collaborative effort. The council can't do it all, the police can't do it all, and the neighborhood can't do it. Neighborhood groups can't do it all. But collaboratively, we can, okay? There's a lot of underutilized tools in the city, one of which is fairly new to the system that was only downtown at one time, but it's now citywide. That's reverse 911 where those with a landline phone at home, if there's a surge of break-ins in one area of the neighborhood, the police can send out a message to those, you know, keep your light, like Ann stated earlier, keep your lights on at night, there's a, you know, your neighborhood is a, is a hot spot as of late, and that's an, a very underutilized tool, which is inexpensive. So as we all know, there's not a lot of money to be had, and there will not be for some time, but there's inexpensive ways we can improve our neighborhoods, and that's something I will work very diligently on as a city council. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you everybody come out here tonight. I, I do appreciate your interest in the city of Lowell. It appears we all share the uh, same passion. Thank you very much. But to get back to public safety, I know it's its first issue on the forum, as well as should be. And I want you all to know, as a city councilor, I'm going to work very hard to protect your families and your children out there. Okay? I feel the city library needs a public, a police resource officer, much like the schools do. Okay? There are too many constraints for us out there that protects the rights of these people. So we need an officer with some kind of security almost at all times in a library, okay? Now, recently we've had a, a, a sexual assault on the Riverwalk here in, uh, right on the outskirts of downtown Lowell. Brand new, millions and millions of dollars poured into this beautification. It's a beautiful project, okay? And guess what, nobody feels safe. So as we all know, money is tight. Here we go, I know it's, uh, don't mean to sound repetitive, but there are alternatives, okay? We can search for surveillance. I think video, the, many a large cities throughout the Commonwealth and the nation are using surveillance cameras, okay? Posting signs, and that appears to be very effective. So I'm gonna work very hard for you and your families. Thank you very much.